In combat sports, weight class exists for a reason, as in most cases, the bigger and stronger fighter is likely to win. However, that is not always the case, especially when it is an untrained bodybuilder going against a pro MMA fighter. Who wins this legendary matchup? Are bodybuilders just too big for the MMA fighter's skill to matter? Stay with me as we look at the top 5 moments bodybuilders and strongmen got smashed by MMA fighters. You think you could beat me in a street fight? In a street fight? You're a podcaster, brother. Number 5. Kirill Tureshin vs. Oleg Mongol 23-year-old Kirill Tureshin first hit the headlines in 2017 when images surfaced of his monstrously swollen arms. Tureshin had injected synthol, a highly dangerous substance that is used by bodybuilders to give a temporary enlarged effect to make the muscles appear bigger for competition. The result is that he looks like Popeye. He became known as Bazooka Arms in Russia. But with those arms also came some health issues, and while Tureshin is famous all over the world, he is not wealthy. He needed money for surgery, so he took an MMA fight against Oleg Mongol, a Siberian MMA fighter. At 43, Mongol is 20 years older than his swollen opponent. This fight took place in Abakin, Russia. Mongol Mongol, being a terrifying looking man himself, just couldn't stop staring at his opponent's huge arms. They both came out guns blazing. Tureshin came out swinging like a wild man and there was genuine danger of him knocking his opponent out. He threw low kicks and utilized a high guard while looking for counters. He swung the weight of his gigantic arms into big overhands but missed. Tureshin managed to rock his opponent with a variety of unorthodox shots and both fighters looked for knockout shots. Well, an overhand right from Bazooka Arms finally landed and it sent Mongol flying across the cage. Still, he was in the fight. Mongol got up from the knockdown and went chasing a takedown. He got the takedown and Bazooka Arms was taken to the realm of grappling. He had no answers for Mongol's offense on the ground. Finally, the experienced Siberian MMA fighter submitted the panicked bodybuilder with a forearm choke. His bazooka arms were too weak to save him. That was a moment, just subconsciously remembered that I could do it. His arms are weak and I wanted to break him a hand. Number 4, Marius Pudzianowski vs Tim Sylvia A terrifying foe, Marius Pudzianowski was a bodybuilder and 5 time world strongest man winner before entering the world of MMA. While in his third MMA fight, the bodybuilder went up against Tim Sylvia, a two-time UFC champion. The Polish strongman was coming off a year and a half in prison for beating up someone who was believed to be a mafia boss. On the other hand, Sylvia had scored over 25 wins against tough opposition like Andrei Arlovski. He was coming off a first round TKO victory and was the more skillful fighter despite being outmuscled. On May 11th of 2010, the fighters met and competed in the main event of Musin, God of Martial Arts. As soon as the bell rang, the UFC legend went on the front foot and chased his opponent. Maruiz, refusing to be bullied, blasted a low kick that buckled Sylvia. Two leg kicks later, Maruiz went for the takedown. Despite weighing around 270 pounds, Maruiz had lifted much heavier things that had no problems flinging the American to the canvas. Nonetheless, Sylvia was more experienced and quickly got back on his feet. Halfway into the fight, the MMA veteran peppered the Polish powerhouse with knees to the body. He went in for the kill. Maruiz looked like an injured animal, but being the world's strongest man, he was determined to win. A tired Maruiz got thrown to the canvas and endured one more minute of ground and pound and submission attempts from Sylvia. As the second round started, the bodybuilder shot for takedowns to no avail. This was the beginning of the end for the fight for him as the taller Sylvia framed him to landing damaging knees. Maruiz looked for a way out by grabbing the fence, but Herb Dean squared the fighters back to the center. Sleek jams and uppercuts spelled doom for the Polish fighter. In a moment of defeat, he fell back to his back too tired to fight back. But the fight was not over. Sylvia proceeded to mount and put Maruiz in a crucifix and unleashed brutal shots. The world's strongman tapped to strikes and Herb Dean put him out of his misery. Number 3, Alan Karev vs Gary Goodrich The fight between Gary Big Daddy Goodrich and Alan Karev was set in Japan. Kareev, a massive Russian sumo wrestler and strongman, was making his MMA debut against Goodrich, who was one of MMA's pioneers. Big Daddy weighed about 240 pounds, but was dwarfed by his 6'7", 400-pound opponent who was making his MMA debut. Goodrich was coming off of three wins by finishing in his first round, and the Novus bodybuilder was just one more name to add to that streak. But when the fight started, Big Daddy was in for a shock. He started off by blasting a low kick on Kareev, who immediately put the pressure on him. But with the two behemoths in the small ring, there was nowhere for Goodrich to run. Kareev got a hold and took him to the ground. The bodybuilder started unleashing and letting his hammers go as soon as they hit the canvas. He used his 400 pound weight to hold Kareev down before sneakily grabbing Kareev's arms and attempting a Kimuro submission. The veteran could see it coming, but the soon to be tired bodybuilder kept squeezing Goodrich's head and another attempt at a submission spelled doom for the strongman from Russia. 
After being manhandled for the first part of the fight, Goodrich was able to weather the storm and eventually reverse Kariv on the ground. He showed off some ground and pound before pressing his forearms on his opponent's neck and submitting him with a forearm choke. Number 2. Have Thor Julius Bjornsson the Icelandic Viking, better known as Mountain on Game of Thrones, is the first and only person to have won the Arnold Strongman Classic, the Europe's Strongest Man, and the World's Strongest Man competitions in the same calendar year. When younger, there was lots of pressure on Bjornsson to get into MMA or pro wrestling. Well, Bjornsson would finally get into an MMA gym and have a sparring contest with Conor McGregor. Unfortunately for everyone involved, Bjornsson and Conor's sparring didn't amount to much. In the first 10 seconds, Bjornsson fearlessly walked down Conor, but the fast counter-strike sneakily replied with two punches to the stomach of Strongman. The Mountain then lunged in to grapple McGregor, but the Notorious had too much experience to get mishandled. He escaped the clinch and then went back to smashing Bjornsson's body with straights. Well, the Mountain eventually grabbed a hold of the MMA fighter and landed as his own left punch to the body. At that point, the muscly 400-pounder was getting tired, but the evergreen Conor was still bouncing around the mat. He got into his flow and flustered the Mountain's mid-regions with sharp combos. The Mountain came crumbling. He went on his knees, raising his arms in submission. But Connor wasn't done yet. Taking his back, Connor landed a flush knee that put a final nail in the coffin. Well, weeks later, Bjornsson denies losing as he claimed he tried not to hurt McGregor. He was even asking for an actual fight in the octagon and promised to win in 10 seconds. I mean, bring me shorts and put us in a cage. I'd fight again. Nevertheless, Connor won this round. Number 1. Robert Bjorninka Robert Bjorninka vs. Markin Yajim looked like a fight between two one-star beginners. Robert Kokshu Bjorninka was a Lithuanian bodybuilder making his KSW debut. He had won many bodybuilding championships and needed to prove that he could do it in the world of MMA. He won his first two fights and on May 27th of 2017, he fought at KSW 39 with rapper Powell Popek Monster Mikulawa, who was also having his first fight under the promotion. The bodybuilder opened up with a kick to the body, but his opponent had a much more direct approach. Popek landed a massive overhead right that dropped Bjorninka. He followed up with a takedown and vicious ground and pound. The roided up bodybuilder got back on his feet, but was sent crashing just a second later and the fight was over after some more ground strikes. After one more brutal showing, Bjorninka would never fight again. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and comment.